Well, look, man, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Strictly Hustlers podcast, man. As you can see, I got two very special guests today. Not just one, I got two. I got Money at your TV and my boy Ace from the I95 channel. How y'all doing? Y'all good? Good, good. Yes, sir. Appreciate you having me again. Yeah, yes, sir. Appreciate yeah, you, bro. No doubt, no doubt, man. Well, first off, I want to say congrats to my bro Money at you for hitting 100K. You feel yeah, me? Appreciate Chris? that. Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, Ace, you've been at... You've been at that point. You know? <laughs> hey, guess, but guess what, though? Guess what, though? What? These niggas just sent me my plaque, bro. Well, you had to order it? I had, Nah, they wasn't trying to give it to me. For the copyright yeah. stuff? Nah, they wasn't. They just, they was like, your channel's not eligible. They sent what? me a whole, you know what I'm saying? I would have been beating on somebody doing it, man. I had, I had to fight for it, man. I had, I had to wait a whole year before I could appeal. Bro, what? Nah, what? I had a hundred k, and like three days later, they sent me an email talking about send me your address. <laughs> I yeah, said, hey. Zersky, no sir, they was not trying to throw that on to me, bro. Damn. Yeah, it's like that, though. man. It's like that. Damn. But I was about to say though, you feel me? Because hitting a hundred k, I feel like it could be easy. You know, what I mean, to kind of take the foot off the gas. If what keeps you going, uh, Maniachi? You know I mean, after hundred k. Honestly, man, just that big gold plaque. I want that meal. I want. Yeah, yeah. I want. I want that next level up. Mm-hmm. And after that meal, I want that. Was it the fifty mil rupee plaque? I want to keep going. What? <laughs> you yeah, just put me that. on. <laughs> yeah, it's they called, got what? I think it's either the. It's like a diamond rupee. It's like yeah, a diamond I plaque. seen that John yeah. before. That shit hard. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you. Going. I think you get a diamond one when you hit like ten million. Yeah, I yeah. think ten million. Yeah, yeah, ten yeah. ten million is like the diamond one. I ain't know about the yeah, fifty that's, million, that's whatever. Man, that's crazy though. You know what I mean, I, I ain't freezing on have I? Nah. No, you good? <laughs> <laughs> I was just making sure though. All right, but Ace though, what keeps you going though? Because you done hundred k twice now. You had like what two fifty something? Like two fifty eight. I mean, yeah, so Man. what keeps you going? Because honestly, bro, at your point, you feel me? A lot of motherfuckers really probably would be like, yeah, yeah, you know I mean, I'm upload once a week. I'm upload once every two weeks. But you, you feel me, still consistent, still grinding. You still do the paid, you feel me, uh, sponsored uh, reactions Yo. and stuff. So what keeps you going and keeps you grinding? Man, just like, I just love to grind. I love I, I love music, bro. Hell yeah, and like no, no, no better way than you know what I'm saying get in front of the camera and talk talk my shit, man. It just it's like a humbling experience to see like people like uh come to you to hear your opinion on on shit. So that that's what keep me going. Like when people uh, say like, bro, I was I was just finna go to sleep while I was having a bad day. I watched the video. Like that's what keep me going, bro. Hell like, yeah, uh, hell yeah. Somebody. Somebody just DM me the other day talking about, bro, you have no idea how your, f- your videos make me feel. Do this, and I be going through it, but I watch your videos. My day just, I'd be like, damn, bro, just off of me listening to music, though. But that's crazy. Yo, that shit hard, though. Like when you when you know you touch like 258,000 people, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, I that know. shit is incredible. Hell It'd yeah. ever be, uh, I, could, I could never, I could never imagine like knowing 258,000 people. Man, no, nah, for real, for real. And like just doing this whole thing, like you come across a lot of DMs, a lot of fans, a lot of people. You know, what I mean, does it ever like just hit you sometimes? Like, damn, like I'm really ace from the i95 channel. Like, damn, I'm really money at you. Like, sometimes I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, I'll be looking, like, just do my DMs, and I'm like, bro, like these people really care about me sometimes. It's like, yeah, that's crazy, bro. Like, I'm really Hollywood dog sometimes, bro. My mind still ain't wrap around it. I'm like, man, like, I ain't nothing special, I'm just doing YouTube, like. That's what I'm saying, because to me, bro, nothing has really changed. I'm, I'm still living the same life. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, I'm still going to live the same life, no matter how much money, how many subscribers. I'm still going to live the same life, because to me, it's just listening to music, bro. It's all about yeah. just doing what I love. You know what yeah. I mean? But that's kind of yeah. talking about the support uh, from the fans and from the subscribers and stuff. It's also a downside to it, because, I, man, you actually, you actually just posted something on your Instagram. Yeah. I want you to kind of explain your last Instagram story post about the uh people just trying to bring you that you're trying to support if me one artist and then there's another whatever you call it I don't want to call it a fan base because it's really not a fan base at this point you know what yeah. I mean they try to bring you down as a reactor as somebody who has nothing to do you know what I mean so just talk about what you was uh kind of saying on your Instagram man I don't know it's just it's like just a build up I'm just irritating as hell because it's like the other night 
Dirk album dropped. I streamed it on Twitch. And I don't know if you heard the song yet, but the song where D Thang's daughter did the tribute to her mm. to her father. Mm -hmm. And it was some people in the chat that's like, L daughter, we smoking D Thang and that. I had to call him out on that because it's like, come on, this is a little girl that lost her dad. Like y'all really be taking this trolling that far. And then to call me a dick rider because I enjoy a song, but y'all don't say nothing when I react to YB. YB, that's crazy. Yeah, and it's like, come on now. Like y'all want me to pick a side. No, I'd be blowing my mind. Like, and I actually like I was on my Instagram live. I don't know if it's Instagram live or YouTube live, whatever one, but uh somebody was basically saying, bro, stop being a dark D rider, this and that. And I'm like, bro, if you really go watch my videos, I am way more hyped to YB. I'm way more engaged in my exactly. videos to YB than when I'm if I'm listening to dirt. Because YB is gonna have you, I don't know, just have you you never know what you're gonna get from YB. Yeah. Exactly. You know I mean, with Dirk, you going you kind of know what to expect sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not gonna lie. You know what I mean? So with YB videos, like I feel like there's more engagement from the reaction channel. So for them to say that, that's kind of selfish. You know what I mean? Because some people be like, "Bro, why'd you stop reacting to YB? Like, dude, he hasn't yeah. dropped in four days." You right. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> It's like they make up this stuff just to like kind of make it seem like you turn your back. Like, man, I'm not anything. I'm just a fan of music. Yeah, no, for real. Hey, like sometimes, like I, I even have the like, I've like, and it, this, like you said, bro, at this point, it's not a fan base. Cause like, I've had to like preface my videos with like, hey, we reacting to this. Like, we ain't talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't, we ain't on that. Nah. Like, Yo. Like, we ain't on that. We smoking this and smoking that. Like, we focusing on this artist. Like, be respectful to this artist. Yeah. Uh, I was in, I think I was in your comments, Ace, and you said, nah, somebody commented. I don't know what video it was. I think it was a dirt video. It had to be a dirt video because it just dropped in some one of the recent drops. I think it was, what's the video? Golden Child or yeah. something like that. And somebody said something about YB. And you was like, man, this is not the time for that right now. And I was like, yeah, bro. Like, this is not the time for that. And it kind of gets to me, like, because sometimes I can't do anything. Because sometimes they take trolling to the extreme, but they try to troll me as if I'm, like, Dirk's homie or Vaughn's best friend or something yeah. like that. And it's like, bro, I could post me just at, the, at a restaurant posting my food and somebody's going to uh, swipe up why I be better. You know what I mean? Yeah, or, that happened to me or, all the time. Or or, or smoking Vaughn. It's like, bro, I don't, I'm posting my burger, bro. I don't care about them, bro. You know what I mean? Like, and it just sometimes is really mentally draining. Cause like what you said on your IG uh post, Money IG, you kind of said, which, I don't know what you said, but you kind of said it's kind of mentally draining. You know what I mean? Kind of yeah, like, your toll. Yeah, they taking the fun out of it. It's like, I enjoy listening to music and it's like, y'all taking this trolling death thing to the next level. It's like, y'all making it not fun. I don't even want to stream like that no more. Cause now it's like, I don't want people in my comments on that toxic shit. Like, I don't, I don't know. Exactly. And sometimes I would say, you know, I never really mean this, you know what I mean? But I would say, I'm done reacting to YB. You know what I mean? I yeah. say that because that's honestly at the time, that's how I feel because it's like I react to YB and you attract all these crazy YB fans. Now, yes, it's subs and yes, it's views, but it's not always good subs. It's not always good views. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like all, all money's not always good money. So it's like sometimes you attract all these YB fans and it's kind of like I don't know. You don't want to, you know what I mean? So I don't want to keep reacting to them because the more I react to them, the more, like I just said, I'm going to post something about my regular life and I'm going to have a YB fan to swipe up, say something ignorant. It's like, bro, I just can't get away from, sometimes I just want to get away from yeah. the crazy YB because bro, I'm a 23, like y'all grown with kids, like, you yeah. know what I mean? With families, bro. Like y'all not trying to, you know what I mean? When you're not doing YouTube, you're not trying to go on the internet and see, you know what I mean? Smoking this, smoking that. Like, come right. on, bro, that's... Bro, it's just yeah. mentally draining, bro. And it's, it's like, like it's bro. Oh, go go ahead, go ahead. All I was about to say, it's just um, it's like it's not every young boy fan, but it's just some of them that make it bad. Like it make it look bad to be a young boy fan now, cause they just toxic like that. Like I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, but like, but like you were saying, Don, like in the reactions, like I'm more engaged with YB shit. But in my in my personal life, what's crazy is I relate to Dirk more. On me, bro. Yeah, me. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little older. I got kids, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I've been through some similar things as dirt. I relate to dirt more. <laughs> so, but it's like, it's like, I can't even, you know what I'm saying? Be me. It's cause, I can't no, even it's... relate to dirt because YB fans is just so crazy. Man, it Man. crushes me though. It's like they taking something that was so fun, like you said, money actually taking the fun out of it. Yeah, like.
every time like YB drop now, sometimes I dread it because it's like I don't even want to go to the comments. You yeah, I, I, mean? I never look at the comments and YB videos. Or like, you know what I mean? And then, oh my goodness. So Vaughn dropped this album uh, last week. We all know that, right? And then, but we all know for the past 90 days to three months, YB was dropping nonstop, project after project, song after song, video after video. So I reacted to Vaughn, you know, they dropped the same day as YB and the baby, you know? So, but I reacted to Vaughn album basically in the first two days and I was going to wait and react to the baby and YB. And people was like, dude, you know, reacted to the YB, you choose this And I'm like, bro, I reacted to YB. I have 30 YB, I've counted, bro. I had 25 plus YB videos within the past two months. You know, 25 plus. You can watch 25 reactions of me sitting here talking about one man. You know what I mean? But I, Von passed away two years ago, one of my favorite artists. I can't take like a couple hours out of my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? To appreciate this man's music. And sometimes like, it's just like, damn, bro. This gets to me, dog. I and that happened uh, when I did the Twitch stream. I did Vaughn reaction and Young Boy reactions on the same stream. People was like, why are you doing Vaughn album first? I'm like, like man, What's y'all see how much matter? Young Boy just dropped? It's just crazy, bro. Yeah. It's, it's sickening, bro. <laughs> I almost, hey, I slick, I slick almost didn't do uh, either either album. Bruh. And y'all know, y'all know, like, that's a staple on my channel is the album reactions. Like, I almost didn't do either either album. Yeah, I nah, was just so real. fed up with this shit. No, for real. No, you ain't lying about that. And I was kind of gonna touch on this later, but since you kind of said that, like, and another reason why I wasn't so quick to jump on the YB and the baby project is because honestly, I knew what YB was doing. You know what I mean? Dropping the same thing. I knew what he was doing. But in terms of the baby to jump in, you know what I mean? To intervene and come on, you're gonna drop a project. I get that to man, you're gonna drop a project with him. But right now, on this day, at this time, you know I mean, like you knew what you was doing as well. You feel me? And I feel like that wasn't right. You know what I mean? Just me being a person, you feel me, with morals, bro. You feel me trying to take food, you feel me, out of Vaughn's people's pockets. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, bro, that's not right. You know what I mean? Now, look, the real always win. You feel me? Some people might hate me for saying this, but we see somebody so 60 and somebody so 29. You know what I mean? Because obviously, like, the real gonna win, bro. Like that. I'm not saying, like, the baby and YB ain't real, but it's just, like, what the baby tried doing. You feel me? Getting little money scheme. That was all for money. You know what I mean? The yeah. baby did that for money. Drop a project with YB. Hopefully trying to go crazy and get you some money. But it was like that just didn't sit right with me. So that's another reason why I wasn't so quick to jump on that the baby and YB project. Cause it was like, bro, like y'all just like from YB's point of view, yeah, I ain't expect nothing less from him. But like yeah. in terms of the baby, it was just like, bro, you doing the most now. Yeah, they could have picked a different day for sure on that. They hey, definitely yeah. like we knew Vaughn was dropping that day for like a month or two. It's like they could have picked a different day for sure. But the not really get off topic, but like. I don't know. I've talked about the trolls and stuff. How y'all feel about uh bring the hook? You feel me? And because that's kind of what set off, I say 2022. When that dropped in January. Bring the hook. It had yeah, because color yeah. dropped in January. So yeah. I mean, I feel like that kind of ever since you feel me started a wave because bring the hook dropped, then you had them old block members dropping, and then you know Dirk, you know, dropped his dropping, you know what I mean, posted the shit on Instagram. So how do you feel bring the hook shook things up? All right, I'll go. Oh, yeah. All right, so <laughs> I think, I think, uh, I honestly think all of this shit could be, um, uh, like, a, like avoided. It's just, it's just like, it's like, I'm, I want to word this right. Only one person has perished from all of this. They can stop now. And it can still, everything can still be copacetic. Like, they could just stop. Like, it ain't it ain't worth it. Like, YB still going to do numbers. Dirt going to still be going crazy. Nobody have to diss nobody. Because when YB get off house arrest and shit, and when, all you know what I'm saying, Dirt legal issues is over, niggas going to have to move around and, like, see each other and shit. So it's like all this going back and forth shit ain't going to do nothing but create friction, more and more friction. Niggas going to have to see each other. And then... Somebody else might fuck around and die. It might not be Dirk and Young Boy. It might be somebody else in their count. But it's like only mm -hmm. one person is gone out of all of this. That can stop now. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, but you think about the one person that is gone. It's like it was that. It was yeah. that nigga. It was the one. <laughs> yeah. It was the one. 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like if if Von would if Von would have got shot that night and survived, you know what I mean? It probably wouldn't have been. I mean, I don't know. Von yeah. probably would have been on something completely different. You know what I mean? But like, yeah. I don't know. It's just yeah. What you said is right though. Only one person that's passed away. You know what I mean? And the situation was like a freak situation. It's not like, you know what I mean? They pulled up on him and killed him. It was like, you know what I mean? This fight that broke out and he ended up passing away. You know what yeah. I mean? So that could be a situation you kind of just dead and just move on from it. You know what yeah. I mean? That's I what I thought. Of, yeah. I thought it was like, cool. Like 2021 things kind of like leveled out a little bit, but bring the hood kind of just like, that's I don't why, know. That's why I asked y'all, I'm, if you mean what? Why did he drop bring the hook? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Out of nowhere, everybody was like, when I reacted to it, I thought it was just a turn song. And then I heard, oh, Black Pack get rolled. I'm like, whoa. I honestly you know I mean? feel like, oh, you can go ahead, Ace. I feel like, I feel like he dropped it because I think young boy, uh, for as long as he sat in that jail cell, that shit was boiling up. Like that shit was, just, and it was like, it like he, he, he opened the can of worms. Like I feel like that. I feel like he was sitting on that shit. Like he had to get it off his chest. But yeah. I kind of feel iffy on it because it's like, why is it sitting on your chest though? Like that wasn't like I understand Quando, your man's and all that, but like you wasn't like that's not really like. I feel like he's one of the niggas who. I feel like he's one of them niggas who who internalize other people issues. Like wow, he has, he, feel like he has to take on other issues, like. I don't know to validate itself more, maybe. I don't know, but I feel like he's one of the type of people who is like, let's ride, we riding together type shit. Like, I mean, but a lot of fans it. did, they did kind of bring YB into it the day Von died, even when YB had nothing to do with it. So it's kind of like, well, if they gonna bring me in this, I'm a, I am might as well be a part of this now. It's like, this is because YB fans are YB fans, and they've always been YB fans, even before the mess. They were always crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I don't know. I just feel like obviously why be crazy, but I feel like he should have just, you know, what I mean, not have involved himself so much in the situation. Yeah. You know what I mean, I mean you know it could be because you know he looking at a lot of time. This might be his last opportunity to really like just go crazy like that. If he facing ten years, if I know his court date coming up, if they send him, he might not be able to go as crazy as he going right that now. Boy, ain't, that boy ain't doing yeah. no time. You don't think so? Okay. Heck no. Heck no. I don't they know said, why. They said he's not gonna be able to avoid this shit though. That's what I'm hearing. I know they dropped uh they dropped one of the charges on him though. Like the judge dropped one of them. Yeah, one of the gun things or something. I don't yeah. Know. But damn, man. How y'all feel about colors? We kind of talked about on uh Ace's video. You know what I mean? But colors, I feel like is one of the top projects this year. How y'all feel about colors? It's definitely up there, definitely one of the best projects this year. Yeah, I would have to agree. And, I feel uh, like I feel like uh, I feel like that shit had like some of the most variety I've ever gotten out of a young boy project. Ooh, that kind of brings up a good question. So, in terms of projects, because Ace, you kind of do, you kind of started doing it too, money at you. But like Ace, you really do the whole album reaction. So when you listen to an album, do you kind of listen to like the cohesiveness in the album? You know what I mean? Because one thing I kind of noticed when I listen to Dirk's new album, his album is very like cohesive. You feel me? From start to finish, like it flowed like perfectly. But when you go back and I listen to Colors, it was kind of like the variety. It was like you might have a song here, then the next song will be something completely different. You know what I mean? It kind of wasn't as cohesive. So you do think like a cohesive project is important in being successful? I feel like I feel like every successful artist has one like cohesive project that's like a that in turn like is like a concept mm -hmm. i feel like every successful artist has that has that one kendrick got good kid mad city mm -hmm. cole got forest hills drive yep. uh drake got uh i would say i would say his project that's the most cohesive in my opinion is probably if you are reading this it's too late maybe like that's his most I don't know. Or maybe mm -hmm. Muse. I, was gonna, I mean, take I care. I take care. I was going to say take, take care. care. Yeah. But like, yeah. I feel like every successful artist have that one like cohesive album. Um, I feel like y YB might have one of those all, already. With what? Kind of. Uh, I think, I think uh, Riller is, is a very concise body of work. 
Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that shit is a is like a uh I think AI2 was a like a concept album somewhat. Mm. But um that color shit is full of it's full of color, bro. Like no, exactly, but that's what I'm saying, bro. You gonna have red, then green, then blue. It's just really different <laughs> vibes, different yeah. energies, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I was just listening to the Dirk's uh tape, it's 7220, so he's kind of telling the story. You feel me? You ain't really listened to it, a so I want to like spoil it for you yet. You know what I mean? But he's really just telling the story and just spinning his pain. You know what I mean? It's kind of it flows just perfectly. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't heard a project flow that perfect, you know what I mean, in a while. And then, like I said, I just you know, I try, I compare, I'm not gonna lie, I'll go and I compare that shit to colors, listen to colors, and I was like, okay, but colors. Like you have a song here and then a completely different song here. So I just didn't know if y'all took that into account when you know what I mean, probably comparing projects or just rating projects. So I just want to see where y'all was at with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I prefer albums like Colors more to kind of like you could have a song in your feelings, and as soon as the next song pop up, then now you turned up. It's mm -hmm. like I definitely respect what Dirk did on his project though. Like the cohesiveness was perfect though on that. No, nah, for real though. How y'all feel about uh YB's last album on Atlantic? This is last album, right? The last yeah, this is the last one. Yeah. Yep. The last one dropping yeah. this month. Heck yeah! So what y'all think you gonna do after that? Independent. Yeah, yeah. That's the only. That's the oh. only way. Like, hold on. So y'all saying we ain't gonna get copyright <laughs> from YB? Nah, he 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 <laughs> might put a copyright. He might put create music group on his on his thing. But I mean, unless Atlantic offer him a hundred mil, I think he Man. going independent. I'm about to hit that boy line. Hey, like, you know top. what's crazy? You know what? You know what's crazy? I don't even think, I don't even think if they offer him a bag that big that he would take it. Yeah, he's not taking it. Yeah, he, yeah. the money good. He got his money. Yeah, I don't even think I don't at this point, I don't even think he want, I don't even think he want the bag. I think yeah. I, I actually think he's sick of the label, like honestly. Yeah. A lot but, of artists into it with their label right now. I know Fredo trying to get out of his label too. Bro, did y'all see uh Kodak Black tweet though signed to Atlantic? <laughs> you know he gonna do the opposite of what everybody else doing. Man, that boy Yak funny. Do, Yak, Yak, go do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. That boy funny man. People I trying mean, to but, get YB to sign the Empire. They trying to get YB and Vaughn on the same label. But I mean, I feel <laughs> like independent for Y if for YB is the only way to go. Exactly. Like there is no other way. You got everything, bro. You got the fans, bro. He like, ha he has he has no leg work to do at all. Oh, he's he's, he's probably one of the most organic artists of our time. He's probably the most organic artist of our time. You know what I mean? You don't see you feel me billboard YB billboards posted everywhere. You don't see YB posted on the like, Apple Music homepage. You don't see YB posted. Spotify, Rap Caviar, nobody posts them. You feel me? The only people posting them is the 4K trade trolls. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, uh, the NBA fans and crazy motherfuckers. You know what I like mean? Like the crazy thing with Young Boy is like he's literally like when like when a kid from the hood, like when a young kid from the hood want to be a rapper, like YB is that nigga. Mm -hmm. Like he's the he's the mold, the blueprint for every young nigga who want to be a rapper. Yeah, like literally, like he's the perfect model for that shit. You think yeah. about it, he really ran it up like all off YouTube. Like that is his machine. That is his yeah, label. Yeah, you they know call him I mean? the king of YouTube, bro. Like YouTube is his label. You know what I mean? And the fact that his real record label takes like the majority of the YouTube money. You know what I mean? I see why he'd be tripping. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? I'd be tripping too. His channel make twenty mil, right? Twenty mil a year. Something crazy, saying. like yeah. somewhere in that ballpark, yeah, like 16 yeah. to 20 million. Yeah, Man, that's insane, bro. That's insane. But uh, how you think the album gonna sound? What you expecting? You know what I mean? Some turn, some sadness. I don't know what you expecting on the album. I think 38 Baby 2 vibes, definitely. I think he might go like the same Roddy did on 38 Baby 2. Mm, I was thinking, um, I was thinking more uh, like top. Mm top maybe i don't know the name i don't know that like the name can be misleading at times you mean the last slamito <laughs> yeah because it's, it's like it's like okay when i hear that title i'm expecting some hard shit but like but my like maniachi said it could be like 38 too yeah i, I mean but i don't you, know 
Yeah, it's hard because Slamito, like, you know, when he get on them dissing songs and he'd be like, Slamito, like, that's that's who Slamito is, is the dissing YV. So I don't know. So, all right, so you said he's going to go independent. You expect him to go independent after all this. But, like, music-wise and creative-wise, do you expect him to still be on the same, you feel me, energy-wise, you know what I mean? Just to... I don't Hell know, yeah. the same sound, the same music, or you think he's gonna try to switch it up? You never know. You know what I mean? I, I think we're we gonna actually, I think we're gonna hear, I actually think we're gonna hear all the songs that like we actually wanna hear. Mm, that's a good yep. point. That's a like good I point. think I think he's gonna put out what he actually thinks we wanna hear. Yeah. yeah. Cause like I like I always say when we get to talking about this shit, I think, I think until I return. Was top. Oh, yeah, I don't think I don't think top was what top is like as we as we know it. Mm-hmm. I think until our return was what he wanted with like his vision for top. Yeah, because like leading up to top, I kept hearing people say like, "Oh, this gonna be his take with all the hardest shit." Mm-hmm. And so I mean, top is still hard as fuck. Don't 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 get me wrong. Top hard as shit, but it's like. All the hard shit was on the tape that came after. So it's like, I think when he go independent, we're going to get the songs that, like, he actually want us to hear. Yeah. yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. So uh, how y'all feel about I Hate Young Boy? Do you feel like that, uh, like, ruined any future, uh, futures, futures, connections, relationships? I think it did, much? but I think Young Boy just don't care, though. But it, it for sure ruined a lot of relationships. But Young Boy don't give, he don't care at all. He's he not can, working with none of them niggas ever again. Nah, never. never. Dang, bro. Well, they want Boosie though. Like, man, that's crazy. That kind of <laughs> hurt me, bro. I was hurt for Boosie. I was like, damn, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was solid. That's fucked up. Yeah, bro. Boosie was one of the few people who, like, you know, mm-hmm. stood like stick, sticks beside him. Yo. Yeah, no, nah, for real. And I seen Boosie Instagram live. That boy was hurt. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I ain't gonna pop his top. I ain't gonna pop his top. <laughs> 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 yeah. Boy, crazy. Boosie, crazy as hell. <laughs> man, Boosie, really crazy, man. But look, how y'all feel about uh King Von New album? It's hard. Damn, is fire. Too hard. <laughs> one I out ain't of ten, bro. One out of ten. In the reaction, I said it was the best album to drop in 2022 so so far. Ah, uh, for real? Yeah, I feel like I feel like uh, I feel like when niggas say that they coming, like when people say that they coming with a posthumous album, like this is what it should be. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like that shit was bond through and through. The features showed they ass. Top Squad showed his ass. Man. Like, it was well put together. It had a good variety of shit on there. I was like, yo, this is this is what, when, when somebody passed, this is how you honor them. Uh, like, real. yeah, that shit, that shit was fire. I'm glad they ain't Pop Smoke that album. Like, that last Pop Smoke project, they, I don't know what, why they did that man so wrong like that. They let Von really keep his identity on this album. Even though a lot of songs were leaked before, it still hit just as hard at the official release of it. It was yeah, hard, that's, though. That's what I was about to say. I really appreciate how they uh did the features because if you pay attention, it's like, oh, the features here, he got songs with them before. Like, Moneybag was on his first album. Dreezy on his first album. I think yep. A Boogie and OMB Peasy might have been new additions, but I think he has features with OMB Peasy, but I think A Boogie, that was his first song with him. But other than that, you know, getting in DQ and Boss Top, they you're from O Block, so. Yeah, and then and then Lil Dirk, you know what I mean. So other than that, I really appreciate, you know what I mean, the features, and I appreciate them not uh, pop smoking the album, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Real. You think talk. they? Uh, you think they dropping a deluxe to that? Because they didn't drop a deluxe to Welcome to Old Block. You don't think uh, they come well, up with gotta, one? You got to save the music, man. You got to save yeah. the music. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just. Yeah. I would, you know that's a that's a that's another issue that I had with the whole pop smoke thing because they came with the. They came with the first album, then they dropped the deluxe, and then they came with an album the next year. It's like it's a it's a lot, it's a bit much. Yeah. Like you got sometimes you gotta pre- preserve like what you, you gotta preserve some of that shit right down yeah. the line. 
just no, so I that niggas you. don't forget. I feel you because I was kind of actually surprised. It's like 19 songs or something like that. And I wasn't expecting to be 19 songs. I was like, damn, that's kind of a lot of music. You know what I mean? But I kind of think they threw a lot of the, like uh, Money actually said, the leaks and the snippets on there. Probably maybe just to get them out the way because they was already yeah. leaked. They was already leaked and people was listening to them anyway. You know what I mean? So probably just to get them out the way. I don't know. Because I still will go on TikTok and hear uh, a leaked King Von verse that I never heard before. So I'll be, obviously, it's probably going to be on a, another album or another project because I've seen track. He said they still got two more projects. If they do it right, they could have three. You yeah. know what I mean? So, hey. Shit, that's at least, that's probably at least 60 songs. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And then Dirk said he still got his tape uh, with Vaughn coming. He said that in his interview that he just did. So that shit going to be cold, That shit going to be nasty. Yeah. yeah. For real, for real. I ain't going to uh, lie. The way that they ended that Vaughn album, though, it made it seem like that was his last album. I was like, damn, I was tearing up a little bit. Like, damn. Yeah, yeah uh, I feel did. Like, nah, hell nah. It's just because he passed away. This is his first project or something. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I feel yeah. you, though. That shit was crazy. That shit was touching, man. What y'all some of your favorite songs off the album? Yo, the cut with Dreezy is crazy. That's one of my the favorite. Hard, I think it's called Hard to Trust. Yeah, that's so hard. For real. That's too hard. Rich Gangster with T Grizzly. That's hard. I got, too. A, I got a confession to make, bro. I ain't heard that song with Dreezy. Like when it comes to albums, bro. Listen, when it comes to albums, I'll be so picky on listening to songs. Like I just said, I ain't listened to the song with Lil Durk and Summer Walker. If I feel like, bro, I'm like Dreezy, no offense to Dreezy, Summer Walker, but with like a female artist is kind of thrown onto a song with like Keen Vaughn or like Lil Durk, I kind of just kind of brushed under the rug. I ain't gonna lie. But the fact that y'all said <laughs> um, it's hard, I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that shit, that shit go crazy. And um, hey, I ain't gonna count, bro. The uh the boss top feature, the second song that he's on, go and get him with just him and Vaughn. The I think it's called like get back or go and yeah, get who get... go and get him. The first the <laughs> one with just King Vaughn and Boss Top is go and get him. Okay. That shit hard. That shit that... is hard. That joint oh, yeah. where uh, OMB Peasy was crazy too. I ain't gonna lie. Peasy Boy snapped slammed. on that. Do you feel uh this project was versatile? Or do you feel like uh because I feel like his first project was pop welcome to O Block was more versatile than this project because you had songs like Demon, you had songs like uh Can't Relate. What songs like what else? I don't know. What's the one song he got with Dreezy on the first album? You know what I mean? I actually have listened to that one, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? But I feel like the first project was more versatile. I feel like this uh, project was, I don't know, a lot of more just drill songs. What am I tripping? Yeah, I agree with you. I think the first one was definitely more versatile. I thought this one was more versatile. That's what I'm saying. Am I, oh, I got to look. Hold on. Am I tripping? No, nah, see, I feel like, like look, I, got... thought, I feel yeah. like uh, a lot of the songs on like the back, like the back end was more versatile. I just feel like War, FaceTime, uh, Straight To It, Trust Nothing, Evil Twins, Two Real Rich, Gangster, Mad. Like, all that's, like, just drill songs. And Get Back, Get It Done, Chase the Bag, Go and Get Them, Grandson for President. Yeah. Yeah, I think Welcome to Old Block was definitely vers more versatile. He had Rise, so he had a little love song on there. He had, you know, Armed and Dangerous. He brought the vocals with Demon. He, Yeah, he had, yeah. I think I could agree with that. Yeah, man. I'm just glad they uh threw that evil twins on this tape, man. I've been waiting for that. I mean, I already heard yeah. the leak, like, <laughs> but it's just finally for them to release it and I can react to it. That song was mm -hmm. short as hell, though. Yeah, it man. is like less than two minutes. Man. Man. Hey, y'all be having problems when y'all react to Vaughn or something? Because I feel like everybody has different issues. Like the one day you reached out to me, Ace, you said, bro, you better hop on it, man. I think it was you dropped the war. He dropped the war or something. Uh and, yeah, and he was, was like, it bro, too real or it was too real. War. No, it was war. The one he dropped before the album even dropped. It was like the okay. Wednesday before the album dropped. You reached out and you, I don't know, we was texting or something. And he was like, bro, hop on it, bro. Cause I was like, bro, they be blocking my videos. You know what I mean? So I wasn't even gonna really try it. Yeah. And you said hop on it, bro. They didn't even copyright it. You know what I mean? So then I did it and my shit was green. And I was like, you know what I mean? <laughs> to the, to yeah. I'm knocking on wood. I am knocking on wood. You hear me knocking on wood? Because to this day, it's still green. You know what I mean? It's like, what the heck? And then I'm talking, I asked, bro, right? Money asked you. And he's like, no, nah, they ain't messing with me. You know what I mean? And then Snore, they wasn't messing with me. You feel me? So it's like, bro, I don't know. I, I, don't was, know. I was cool up until I uh dropped the album reaction and they blocked it. 
Bro, and, you, and then I asked you, I said, okay, usually they would just block one song and then the whole video gets blocked. But you yeah. said they blocked 15 of them. And then for you, Money Out, you said they just blocked one and the whole yeah. video got blocked. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I reached out to them. They ain't even hit me back or nothing. I'm like, damn. Like, right, it is stressful. what it is. Honestly, yeah. that's why I do it. How I, I just do it one by one. I don't care if it's more work, extra work, whatever. I just don't want to. Mm-hmm. The whole video thing, and then if you're getting blocked, if it's one song or if it's like five songs getting blocked, because five songs get blocked, it's like you can't really upload the whole album reaction at that point. Right. You know what I mean? If one song get blocked, you can cut it out and it's like not a big deal, but I don't know. You know what I mean? I yeah, just seen a lot I of people. I, I, was, I was dropping the Vaughn shit. It was green. Nothing was getting blocked. I throw the album on that bitch. Over. <laughs> like, because like, even. Damn. I like five five songs that I read to off the Von album is still green and it's still I still to the, but honestly when I reacted to Welcome to O Block like back again that song never got copyrighted you know what I mean that's one of their biggest songs you know what I mean so sometimes I don't know bro these labels bro be playing with our hearts bro <laughs> as long as it would it be dude <laughs> man like, it's a lot of emotions man because especially with people like Von and like Darker it's one of your favorite artists it's like bro you got to get that reaction out yeah you know what I mean. And then when they block it, that should be crushing. Yeah. Got everybody mad at you, like, oh, you don't fuck with Vaughn no more. Like, man, I tried. I yeah, tried. Yeah. Bro. Same, bro. And like, like, but okay, not to get back on that subject, but like that same, like within them same few days, I was able to upload baby and Bobby shit. But then Vaughn album got blocked. So I'm like, I'm finna hear it, bro. Yeah. Because yeah. it was man. like. Like the Vaughn fans was like, ah, oh, how you was able to upload they shit? I'm like, bro, like it's it's not me. <laughs> like, can't win, bro. You can't win. Man. I know, I know. You know what I mean? But uh, I was about to say something. How y'all feel about uh, Lil Durk's Aha? You feel me? Diss track? Because I feel like a lot. If it's a it's a diss track, right? Aha, uh-huh. that's a diss track. Yeah, I, I'll say it was. Yeah, I think so. He threw, right, some, just, he threw some subliminal shots for sure. Yeah, all right, just, all right. So to get to the question, how do you feel about it? Because, you know, a lot of times people troll Dirk. People say, slide, do this, drop a song, do that. You know what I mean? A lot of times Dirk just does, doesn't pay him any mind. He's going to play his own game. And it, it works for him. You know what I mean? It worked with 6 9 you feel me? It works. You feel me? When Dirk's going against the trolls, he Man. knows what he's doing. <laughs> Dirk <laughs> is... <laughs> Honestly, Dirk is probably one of the smartest rappers in the game right now because he know everybody's attention is on him right now. Anything he drop, even if they hate him as an artist, they still going to listen. They're going to run up them streams. They're going to tune in to the videos. He's smart. Too smart. Man, man. That aha shit. To answer your question, no, the aha shit, five. It Too is. Hard. It is. This shit, this shit hard. And people going to try to discredit it like it's not, but it is. Bro, Yo. It blows my mind. Like people would really try to discredit Dirt. Like I get reaction, I mean comments on my reaction to his new album, and they saying, "Bro, this is not it. This is you feel me? This is trash." And the song, bro, is obviously good, bro. You feel me? Like a deaf man could tell you this shit fire, man. You know what I mean? So it's like these people just blind hating, bro. Just you feel me? It's obvious. You know what I mean? But yeah, the little Dirk Aha track, you feel me? It's fire to agree with what you said. You know what I mean? People just gonna find a way to hate. But yeah. like you said though, bro, Dirk it Dirk is literally one of the most is the one of the smartest, most calculated artists in this shit. Like yeah. everything he does, like he does not do anything with like no intent. Yep. Everything is intentional. You know, it's, yeah, honestly, yeah, he is smart. Cause I just peep, bro. Like he never really responded, never really said nothing music wise until he dropped Aha, which is like two weeks before his album drops. So he has all that promo going into his album. You know what yeah. I mean? And then he, you feel me, did the Wallow and Gilly interview right before his album. And then just, he had a lot of good promo. Yeah, bro, me, even, even that, even that was smart. Bringing a million dollars to million dollars worth of game. Like, come on. Even that was that, bro. Like that's a power play. Come on, yeah. It's it's bro, it's chess, not checkers, bro. It's calculated. I love you, bro. He said he like, was dropping aha part two last night. He didn't even drop. I, I got the song. Too. I Somebody sent me too. the song, but it's not even aha part two. I don't want to spoil it for y'all, but I, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm yeah, he I see why he ain't dropped it because I feel like a lot of people would have been disappointed. Put it's not a bad song. I just feel like a lot of people would have been looking for some that they wasn't gonna get. Put it like that. But to kind of, got, kind of get back to the aha diss track, uh, do you feel like that's a better diss track than the obvious I Hate Young Boy? 
No. Nah. It's a better song, not a better diss, though. Yeah. That that part, yeah. Good part. Good point. Good point. Yeah. I was waiting for that. Because, like, replay value, you're going to replay AHA probably, like, a million times. But I ain't going to lie. I can't play it. I hate I hate young boy 50 times, especially when the play talk about the reaction channels. I'd be like, every man. time <laughs> I was hurt. I was like, man, what? But I'd be bumping that song every time that, that part come up. I just stop bumping. I'm like, crushed. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he ain't really talking about us, I don't really care if he was, but it's like, dang, dog. You know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, but like, I just like replay value, just sound quality. If you probably go hear ha ha on the radio, you feel me in the clubs, you know what I mean? Yo, Yo crazy. That's definitely some shit that you can just throw on in the whip. Like, the I hate young boy shit is like, it's like a one time deal. Yeah. You, you check it out to hear, to get the shock value, and then you, it's like you move, you move along. If you're a normal person, <laughs> you move along. Like, yeah. <laughs> if you're not a young boy, fuck freak about if you're not a freak about young boy you just listen to it once and move on like nah, for real. i never bro. heard it after i reacted to it for real bro i'll be playing that joint. i ain't gonna lie he snapped i ain't gonna lie he snapped on that joint. you know what i mean but nah, i'll be playing it. that uh what's that one i forgot the name of it i bet your mama be destroyed nigga when we send your oh. stupid ass to god i'll be playing no, that like, shit no, like i know yeah, yeah no, like actually, i know. One, I be playing the fuck out of that one i ain't gonna cap that one yeah. that one hard so yeah. out of all the diss tracks, bring the hook. No, like I know, I ain't young boy. Uh, no switch. No, like I know was the one that hit for me. Yeah, that was for sure the best. For real. Yeah, no, lie. like I know was that was the one. Is no switch a diss track? Because you know he kind of threw a little shot on there. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. title, the, like the title definitely is a slick shot. And then in, in the hook, he said what about the switches chopper came automatic. <laughs> he said what? Yeah. yeah the he top, said. That- the title for show is a diss though, for show. If and nothing he, else. And the yeah. second the second verse, he said something. They don't want to see little Tim jump from out that truck. Nigga, yeah. that's that's clear as day. Um, that damn me. uh that stuck with me song was a diss too. It was Ooh. like niggas gonna learn to keep their hands to themselves. So Come it on. was, it was on front of Bayou. Yeah, it was uh, like knock off his dreadlocks. I'm like, man, this nigga this wild. Go crazy. He, he said he so and crazy. he said he said something about um. We do damage where they knock departments down or some shit like something. Yeah. Like oh yeah. Yeah. He said oh. something like, yeah. He said where they knock the projects down or something like that. I know what you're talking about. Hell yeah. Man, damn. Wait, out of all them, this is, bro. Yeah, I was trying to see which <laughs> what's the best one. Now I can't really see. Oh, no, like I know, man. Yeah, no, no like, like I know, I know that so. one. Yeah. Oh. All right, all right. Well, that answers that. You know what I mean? But uh, and another thing is, I feel like to get, kind of get back on topic with Dirk, I feel like with his diss track, you know what I mean? He's going to get more streams. He's going to get more uh benefits from the diss track. You know what I mean? YB obviously got more oohs and ahs probably and more views. You know what I mean? But Dirk, like we said, he's smart. He's playing the long game. You know what I mean? Ten years down the line, we're going to see AHA brought in probably way more money. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I hate young boy. I ain't for YB fans out there. I ain't. That's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I gotta make that clear, bro. Man, Man. <laughs> to your to your point though. To your to your point. Like he only okay the title and the one line in the song that should have ducked. Mm. Even that still being that shit still get played. Know, yeah, bro. it had one line. In the title, and that mm. shit still gets played. The man is the man is smart. So, yeah, bro. And I was in the club last night, and I heard up the scope with Lil Durk and Ice with Vezo. And that's not really a diss track, but he got a line. He said, "I don't give a fuck if you a fan. We don't like them niggas." Like he's gonna throw his shots in. He's gonna yeah. let you know that he is still. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the way he does, he's gonna make sure he gets paid from. He's gonna make sure everybody here. He's gonna make sure. You know what I mean? That the song does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, like he ain't gonna get on and say fuck Quando, fuck young. Like he ain't gonna be doing none of that. He about to just be on something else. Nah, for real, man. He can calculate it, man. Nah, yeah. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. He's very calculated, bro. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people, I feel like they're young, though. They don't really understand, you know what I mean? The politics of what's going on, you know what I mean? In the world and or just in the street life period. But I feel like a lot of people just, uh, what's the word? Look down on Dirk and just feel like he's a dummy. Feels like he's slow. Feel like you know what I mean. He's just not who he is. But don't sleep on Dirk, man. He know what yeah. he's doing. 
Them the newer been, fans. Yeah, like this man been in the game for since how long, bro? Like 2010, 2011. plus. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, he know what he's doing, especially by now, bro. You feel me? This man been around Drake, Future, Kanye. This man, like, he know what he's doing, bro. Definitely. Um, but how do y'all, uh, because I ain't going to talk about, I was going to ask about uh his new album, but Ace ain't really listening to it, so we ain't going to. You feel me? But how y'all feel about uh Kodak's new album? Kodak, Kodak shit, Kodak shit actually shocked me. You ain't like it. I loved it. Oh, <laughs> it was it was different though. Like yes, okay. I think uh I think this album is probably the most introspective that he's gotten since like testimony. Yeah. Now I know he was locked up for a while after testimony and we didn't really get no music. But mm-hmm. we did, we but we got some and we got some music last year. But I think the project, this project is probably the like he was saying some shit, and I'm like, oh damn, like bro went through some shit in that prison. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like he definitely went through some shit in there. So it's like I'm I loved it for that, for that reason. Like that shit was hard. Yeah, that yeah. uh that he loves the street song. That was that song was too hard. Then that Midas touch, he had, I don't know, it was a lot of. It was a oh, lot of good songs on this. It's that. Omega, bro. Oh, yeah, Omega, yeah. Bro. Oh, God. AED just, Division? Mm. Yeah, he for sure did his thing on that. I just feel like a lot of people, I don't know, I've been hearing a lot of people with mixed reviews and mixed emotions on that uh, Kodak album. You know what I mean? Especially coming from his real fans. So that's why when you said what you said, I thought you was going to say you ain't like it. You know what I mean? Nah, but, nah that shit was fire. It was fire? So... You can tell he's growing up. Oh, yeah. That's one thing I definitely can tell about this album. I was going to say he's definitely going through a change or he went through a change. You know what I mean? I don't know if it was in that jail or whatever, but you know what I mean? Something spiritually, you know what I mean? I just felt something different spiritually on that album. You know what I mean? With Kodak, for sure. Yeah. 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 This one sound sound a little more grown up. Yeah. 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 How you feel about uh, him getting shot, though? You know what I mean? Because that's like Kodak Black, man. Like, that bullet goes another inch somewhere. It could have, you know what I mean? could have been bad. You feel me? So how do you feel about him getting shot and just him still being Kodak? You feel me? He was in jail. You know what I mean? He gets out and, like, you know what I mean? I feel like some people, they go to jail, they come back and they calm down. You know what I mean? Chill out. But Kodak, you know, that boy crazy. You feel me? Yeah. He ain't gonna turn down. So how do you feel about that? That's a crazy situation because I'd hate to see something bad happen to him for real. Yeah. I'm glad he's still here, but I mean, Kodak even said it himself. He said, we ain't we ain't ducking no smoke. Like, it is what it is. Like, he still, I don't know. It's like he matures in his music, but he kind of still moves around kind of, I don't know, like, like he's still in the trenches. Like, he ain't a superstar still. Like, he kind of moves around like he's still, like he back home. Like, I don't know. It was it's a real, it's it's real loose. Yeah. Yeah. It was a song on his album. I don't know if I think it was on his album or something. I don't know. It was a feature that he was just on, but he said something about basically like he can't get out the hood or something like that. And I was like, in my reaction, I think it was I wish. It was I wish or something. He said somebody can't get out the hood, did this and that. But in my head, I'm like, bro, yes, you can. Like a lot of times, like these folks be mentally trapped in the hood. Yeah. Like, bro, you got millions of dollars. Go get your shit and get on. You know Man. what I mean? Like, them folks that you hanging around on the block. If him like, honestly, when I seen that Dirk interview and, like, there was, like, 50 niggas behind him, I'm like, bro, there's no way all 50 of them are down for Dirk, how they say they are. No, there's yeah. no way, bro. Like, you know this envy. You know this hate, like, wherever you go. You know what I mean? So you can't be standing on the block, like, in that situation, like, going back to where he's going, you feel me? Go Nakers or whatever. And thinking it's all love, you gonna think it's all love until it's not. All that's takes, where they get you the most. All it takes is one day, one thirty minute conversation, one uh, disagreement, one you feel me for something to go left. You feel me? R. P. to Nip, R. P. to Young Dog. You feel me? These people they stop in their hometowns for a couple seconds. You know what I mean? And then something mm-hmm. goes left. You know what I mean? But like I was saying, a lot of times people they mind be trapped. Like, and you were saying, I don't know who said it. One of you two said it, but like. In his music, he talks about like maturing and you feel me doing better and getting wiser, but like he's acting still, you know what I mean, another way. And I feel like that's because you feel me, his mind, you feel me, is just trapped, you know what I mean, yeah. mentally mm-hmm. in that environment, bro. And it's 
not just him. You know what I mean? It's a lot of other folks, but you feel man, me? you said you said something that you said something that stuck out to me just right then when you was talking about uh people being like all the niggas that was buying Dirk and shit and the million dollars worth of game. Like I they, like how I see niggas in the rap game that get killed. It's never hate, bro. It's always envy. It's mm-hmm. all envy. Envy comes from people who actually know you. Yeah. Hate can come from a fly on the wall. You don't know that fly. You don't know that fly from a can of paint. Envy gonna always come from niggas that surround you. Yep. That, mm-hmm. that know what you got. Nigga who don't know what you that don't know anything about you can hate you. They can't envy you though. That's how I see it. Yeah, that's true. No, nah, that's true, bro. Thanks. You me? Cause like I just said, like. Them situations, Dolph, Nip, whoever, you feel me? They in their city, man. If I'm usually like with the Nip situation, dude knew him. Like it's envy, man. It's always envy, bro. Mm-hmm. Ain't no way all them po- all them folks with your entourage, you feel me? One of them, I guarantee one of them is looking at you, squinting their eyes, bro. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, real shit. A lot of times it could be family, could be your cousin, it could be the one that you put money in their pockets. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you just not putting enough money in their pockets. Yeah. If I'm like people would really be sick like that, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just... Tell them no one time and it's up. Man, I'm telling Man. you. Bro. You can say crazy. yes nine times. As soon as you say no one time, you a fuck nigga. Yo, yep. it's crazy, bro. It's Terrible, crazy. bro. And I just want these rappers to just I feel like a lot of times they gotta prove a point. Like with Dirk in his interview, I feel like he was trying to prove a point. You know what I mean? Everybody had their tight time hoodies on, you feel me, with the two guns on and everybody shiesty mask up. I'm like, yeah. bro, we get it, man. You little Dirk yeah. from the trenches. We been new that game. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, we yeah. been A lot of times you don't got to, like, Dirk, like, 28, 29, damn, the 30, bro. Like, a lot of times, bro, that street shit, my nigga, you feel me? I hate to say it, but it's for the youngest, and it's for the youngest for a reason. You feel me? For yeah. them to learn, and the youngest are gonna learn. Either you gonna, you feel me, hit that grave or hit that cell. You know what I mean? And if you make it out, you make it out. You know what I mean? Once you make it out, though, you're supposed to get the fuck on. You know right. What I mean, yeah. a lot of times people just, like I said, trying to prove that point. You got all the money, bro. You know what I mean? Like in the, in the one song, oh damn, you ain't listen to the album, Ace. Hey, so I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Hey, I'm on, hey, I'm on that. I'm on that tonight, though. I'm listening to that shit tonight. I'm not. I can't put it off. No, no, I can't put it off. Yeah, but it, this yeah. is one song. He was basically saying like he just basically feared that he could go to jail. You know what I mean? Basically, that's what I'm gonna say. You know what I mean? I was kind of touching on in my reactions like, bro, you can leave this life. Like, tell your homies, bro, I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper ass nigga, dog. I'm not with none of this shit. But I'm not me as a fan. I like the music. I like the content. I like the entertainment. I'm not going to look at you like you a pussy, like you a bitch. I'm not going to look at you like that, bro. If I'm another goofy mic, but I'm not. You know what I mean? I feel like these rappers are just scared that somebody's going to look at them like you're soft or, oh, you don't come yeah. from the hood. You don't come from the hood no more. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. It don't got to be like that. Yeah, they scared to get security. They scared to move around with security. There's, I don't Sometimes know. I, I hear rappers say, I am my security. Yeah, like, they got to stop that. Ain't nobody untouchable. They got to be smart with that. Yeah, exactly. They be like, my, my gun is my security. No, it ain't. You know how many people uh, die with their gun? You know yo. what I mean? Like, come on, bro. It's just crazy, man. bro. Niggas got to, niggas got to, niggas got to move like Drake, man. Exactly. Bro. Move no. presidential out there. A lot of times, people don't think they're as big as they are. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, I don't know about y'all. Sometimes I go in public, I see people looking. I don't know why they're looking at me. They could be looking at me because I'm Hollywood down. They just looking at me because I look funny. I don't know why they looking at me. You know what I mean? But and yeah. I know these rappers. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I was just in the club last night. Guess who was there? These folks from Power. Uh, what's the name? Paige Heard and the other dude from the Tommy Show. They was in the club and stuff. And then everybody's looking at him. You know what I mean? But in my head, to them, it's like, bro, you never know who really knows you. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's like, bro, imagine being a rapper and you just going out and about. You know what I mean? You talking about you don't need security, you don't need this, you don't need that. If you probably think everybody a fan, you probably think everybody love you, but you know what I mean? You don't know who know you, don't know who don't know you. You know what I mean? You yeah. just gotta mm. keep your guard up at all times, man. Man, for real. <clears throat> but what was I talking about? I think it was talking about Kodak and his album stuff. Yeah, so what are the top albums so far 2022? I'm throwing, I don't care if you ain't hear it yet. Ace Dirk shit is up there, and you, you gonna yeah, okay. say it. once you yeah, hear okay. it, you gonna once you hear it, you gonna yeah. It's shit. Dirk shit for sure on there for sure. Uh, Kodak project was fire. Vaughn shit was fire. Gunner shit was fire, and Colors was hard. 
Gunner dropped it. Yeah. Gunner dropped it the first of the year. Like at top of the year. He sold more than Thug. Yeah, he sold, he sold. Yeah, Gunner, Gunner went crazy. But I could have sworn they just said he's about to drop another album like next month or something. Yeah, or this something. yeah, this summer he's dropping another album. Who? That, Gunna. Gunna. Yeah. You know that's was, one of my favorite artists. Bro, because I was about to I was about to be like a leeway into one of my next questions, like predictions for the rest of the year. Because I was actually gonna say, I think Gunna, honestly, he got the people in the chokehold. People right love Gunna. Yeah. I used people to hate that know, nigga though. You know, I think uh <laughs> I think I think I honestly believe that Gunner should be bigger, but I think uh that because Lil Baby have so much more like he's so much more like charismatic, I feel like he get overshadowed by Baby a lot. Yeah. And and it 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 also doesn't help that he's under thug tech technically, although they they could very well be on the same level to some people, but like he's technically under thug, so it's like he get overshadowed by that. But he, he definitely a talented artist though. He fired. Yeah, I know Gunner used to uh he used to ghostwrite for some artists though. Like I think he used to write for like Lil Baby or something. Like people used to say before he got his name, like he used to do a lot of ghostwriting for a lot of artists in Atlanta. So I mean, yeah, him being under thug kind of I don't know. He if he could branch out on his own without it being any animosity, probably start his own label, do his own thing, he could be as big as Lil Baby for sure. Yeah, that's for like nah, the people love Gunner, man. You know what I mean? He could do whatever he wants, bro. You know I, mean? I like, fuck, I fuck with Gunner. Like I, I, I actually was a huge fan of Gunner before I ever, long before I knew about Baby. For real? Like, yeah, I was fucking with Gunner in like twenty, like fifteen, twenty sixteen. So, yeah, that's I crazy. found Gunner on accident, bro. Yeah. I can't remember where I came across Gunner. I was probably in school or something. You know, Gunner had the colleges going crazy and shit. So, you feel me? I don't know. That nigga used to be trash to me. I ain't, I ain't start getting hip to him till like last year, year before last. Bro, yeah. he's, he's, why is he trash though? I don't know. It's <laughs> just, I don't know. Every time I used to react to him, I'm like, man, I can't, I can't get jiggy with this shit. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I just wasn't messing with it. You crazy, man. No, I think but when he dropped that, uh, what project was that that he dropped in like the he dropped it in 2020 when he dropped that project i was like yeah oh like one, of, one yeah of. yep mm. that put me on to him though man you ain't fuck with uh what's the what's the project with baby i ain't mess with none of that i ain't like drip too hard it was overplayed it was just overrated i was like nah i, I can't mess with that what's wrong with your boy ace <laughs> what's wrong with your boy ace <laughs> That's your man's. That's your man's. Ooh, that's heavy, bro. That might be one of the hottest hip hop takes all time. That's heavy, bro. Uh, I don't know. That's that one. Just it still ain't hidden for me. I don't know why. You might might be the only person I've ever heard say that they didn't like that one song. That's tough. It was just so overplayed. I mean, it was it was a decent song, but it's like, man, people hyped it up to be something like I don't know. I think that shit. I think that yeah. shit just went. Uh, I think that shit just went diamond. Probably did. Damn, I ain't or surprised. It's close, it's close, or it just hit diamond, or it's very close. Damn, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. I can't wrap my head around that one. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that shit um, is crazy, bro. Because usually when people talk to, talk about the album or just that song or just baby and gun period, this is like, bro, nothing but high praise, nothing but love, nothing but yeah. You feel me? Like, that's like a go on the ox. If you throw them up on the ox, it's a go. You feel me? No matter who you with, where you at type shit. I feel like that album, though, it kind of like people try to categorize Gunner like, oh, he can only excel at features when he on a song with somebody else. Mm. Like, I wanted to hear more solo Gunner, just like him going crazy. Like, I don't know. You know, crazy enough, how how money I feel about Gunner, that's how I felt about Baby. Well, to a degree. Hear me out. <laughs> Look at dog face, bro. Yeah, <laughs> both of y'all gave me mad today, dog. <laughs> Look, so in the beginning, in the beginning, I always thought Baby was like, Baby was all right, but it was like, I always thought Gunner was just so much harder. And it wasn't until like, let me see, when was it? 
when Baby dropped the verse for uh, Drake last year for the uh, the wants and needs, mm. I had to go back and like reevaluate. I had to go back, listen to street gossip, go back, listen to harder than ever, go back, listen to everything, my turn, everything. I had to go back. I was like, yeah, I'm wrong. Nigga was hard out the gate. Bro, the fact, the fact that it was hard you, out the gate, bro. It took you that long, bro. Hey, you can you can even go back in some of the reactions and like look, and I'll say some shit. I'll say some slick shit. Like I'm still not impressed yet. Or when I I don't know, it was just I was just so uh crazy, like going crazy for Gunner that I kind of let it diminish my respect for Baby. But they equally there to me now. Like baby is a baby is a and you know what? I said in the reaction today, I said, because I was listening to the dude who was rapping, and I was like, bro, is baby becoming an influential artist? <laughs> Not I'm to get sorry. off topic, but I was thinking oh. that shit in my mind. I'm like, damn, like this nigga sound like little baby. That's crazy. So I you was about to say something, bro. I was about to say, like, it's been, let's see, it's been over over two years since my turn dropped, right? Do y'all yep, think just a little over two years? Do y'all think this next album from Lil Baby gonna sell just as much, if not more, than my turn? Or you think baby gonna turn into Roddy Rich and fall off? Boy, that's like a big <laughs> either or <laughs> hey, god damn. Hold like, on. Cause he he sat on it too long. Like oh. yeah, voice of the heroes. That's a collab though. Talking about technical foul, flag on the play, offsides, run that shit back. You feel me? Challenge on the play. You just say Roddy Rich fell off. Hell yeah, Roddy. Is Rich that what we're off. saying? Okay, okay, okay. I, last I, I album was you. good, but the numbers wasn't like it was before. What what last? The last album he just dropped? Yeah, yeah the numbers that shit was, was terrible bad. on that shit. That shit was horrible to me. Yeah, it's a good the, the joint with Favi. I hated that album. No, bro. The live, so the like, live, live okay, life fast. This, this is the thing, bro. It sounds, it sounds no different to me than every other Roddy Rich project. Yeah, I almost ended this damn, bro. You talking about Roddy? The Roddy not, live life me, fast. To me, it sounds no different. Live life fast. The album you just dropped, mm-hmm. bro. His vocals just sound flat. Like, like. The engineering, the mixing, it doesn't sound like his energy doesn't sound there. It sounds like it's uh, body. it sounds like it's an imposter. You're right though. His his energy was a bit down on this one. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it, it did. Some of this shit sound lazy. Yeah, it sounded like flat. It sounded like you know if you go back and listen to uh, what's that one mixtape with uh Beach every Beach. season, every Beach season. Street. Wait, I think whatever Fifty Streets Two or something like that. Yeah. But either way, if you go back and listen to that one, bro, his energy, the vocals, the mixing, the ma- that album or that project, bro, by Roddy, that's prime Roddy. And of course, please excuse me for being antisocial, but like this new one, bro, I was geeked up, excited, because you know this dude, he don't drop. He's one of them artists that come through and go and drop on you and then dip off. You feel me? So when he dropped, I was like, he ain't never, never gonna uh, have another box. Mm. And do you think that album was too good for him? <laughs> I'm starting to think the album is too good for him. I think I think what it is is like niggas was hungry back then, and that. But I don't. I think I think the box did something that he didn't expect. Yeah, that shit took him to a whole nother like stratosphere, and uh, he might have got a little uninspired. Yeah, he already made it. He ain't got nothing else to prove. Right, he got right. The he already, already got the hit. Yeah. That's why I just think he fell off. Damn. But to me, the album sounds just like a Roddy Rich album. Like, I don't know. I don't I mean, know. Yeah, the quality's still there, but he just not as popping as he was. I'm glad I did. Nah. What were you talking about? Somebody said Roddy Rich fell off. How do we get to this? Because we're talking about Lil Baby or something. Yeah, if, Lil Baby can, Lil Baby. if he can keep the momentum that he had in 2020, this year if he dropped. Oh, you're talking about my turn. Was it going to sell the same as my? How, how much did my turn sell? The Deluxe. We're talking about the Deluxe because you know the Deluxe was like uh album on that steroids. Shit was OD, nigga. Yeah, yeah, that was like. That was Six unfair. songs that go that crazy. I ain't gonna lie, he deserves to do time for that because that shit. <laughs> you feel me? That shit wasn't right. 
Yeah, my, my turn my, sold one hundred ninety k first week. Matter of fact, matter of fact, my turn was the most. Uh, it sold the most albums in twenty twenty. Up period. Yeah. Damn. It was the most sold album that whole year. Man, who dropped in 2020? Drake, Kanye, See, everybody, J. Nigga. Cole ain't dropped? Everybody. I think everybody dropped 2020. Polo dropped. Gunna dropped. Baby Her. dropped. Uzi dropped. Dirk dropped a couple times. Uzi. Uh, did I say Uzi? G Herbo yeah. dropped. Nigga, everybody dropped in 2020. The Drake? He put out that Dark Lane demo. Yeah, yeah those are like just his throwaway songs. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. So more than one ninety. Hmm. I think Honestly. I think baby I think baby can do like two fifty. Nah. Uh, it, like, dep- it depends on what proceed what precedes the album, singles and build up. Is that's gonna let me know? Okay, this shit gonna sell two hundred at least. Yeah. Where do we rank the little baby in terms of artists? Do we put them up there with it? Drakes and J. Cole's, or do we put him with the with the futures and the he's right? He's right underneath that tier. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to like you feel me so I can like gauge the numbers and shit. You know what I'm I say saying? I mean, me personally, I'm putting future in the tier with Drake and Cole and I Kendrick. Like future mm-hmm. goes there to me. Yeah. All right. So it's kind of funny. Y'all was talking about the artists that y'all really didn't like before, and then y'all kind of grew to like them. Future was one of them to me. Like back, bro. I don't know how. My bro, don't kill me. My fault, bro. I ain't like the way you looked at me, dog. You Twenty. Said, you talking about 2014, 2015 Future? You ain't you ain't all, like that. When he was dropping, that. I just hit your bit. It's some Gucci flip. All that. My fault, Ace. <laughs> No, I'm not broke. Back then, I was like, bro, I don't see how y'all getting jiggy to this, dog. <laughs> but now... <laughs> Shit ain't right, dog. <laughs> My fault, bro. My fault. Shit ain't right. That shit ain't right. <laughs> Why you really got, hurt? What they got in the water down there in Houston, dog? Bro, I don't know. I don't know because, bro, I think I gotta get. I got older and I started to appreciate Future more. Cause now, when I listen to Future, I'm like, bro, this nigga flowing. Like he ain't even rapping. He floating on that bitch. You feel me? It's just different, man. I'm telling you. And then, like, but back then, people used to rock out the Future, go to the parties, Future. You feel me? In, in the cars, people got Future on their ox. And I'm just like, bro, turn this off, bro. <laughs> not, not gonna lie. March you know Madness. I mean? You would have hated me. Man, yeah, probably. He's probably one yeah, of them. You would have hated but me. I, I ain't going to say one of them because everybody, like, I mean, to this day, though, you know what I mean? People love Future. But, like, back then, like, 2014, 15, 16, Future had, and what a time to be alive and everybody's going crazy about that. And I'm like, bro, why is everybody going crazy? I feel like, I feel like when people talk about runs, like, Future's run still technically not over. Yeah. Because if you think about it, it's it's slowed down, but like every feature that he gets on right now is worth every penny niggas paying for it. Like I just touch for real. I'm telling you, it's just like to me, it's shit. It's uh, uh it's not like a Drake stimulus yeah. package, but close you get future it. on that bitch, it's gonna be a slap for, for sure. Yeah, close to it. But I was the same. I mean, so I kind of put future like you know, we got Drake, like we said, Drake, uh Kendrick, and Cole. I put Future like right, right below him. Not up there with them. Will y'all put him up there with him? I say, say Kendrick I say out of that. right there with him. Say Kendrick out, bro. Kendrick don't drop. I feel what you're saying though, but I feel like just with politics, I the had shit to that say, he man. has dropped though. Yeah, the shit yeah. that he has dropped. The little bit that he has dropped is is I it's gotta nice. put him there. Yeah, and I feel like the, the, see that's the that's the that's the reason why he has to be there. Yeah, he somehow. Maintain relevance without dropping anything. I don't know. His, his music is really like that, and his music is really substantial. It got meaning to it. You know what I mean? Especially like for the times, I feel like he always drops at the right time. You know what I mean? That uh, or he either drops at the right time, or his music is really ahead of his time. Like the Pimper Butterfly, that album yeah. when it dropped, everybody was like, "Dog, what the heck?" But that was really an album ahead of his time. 
Yeah. I've, I've, I've actually heard people say that Travis is in that tier too. Oh, no, 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 no I, no. I hate, I hate when people not, not, me. not musically, but like, uh, in terms of like stardom status, yeah, yeah, so, okay, well, that don't count in my opinion. Nope. We're talking okay. about music, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, Travis, yeah, you Dane Kylie, <laughs> good for you, you know what I mean, but <laughs> no, like, musically, like. He just he makes good music, you know what I mean. He finds a way to get on the radio. He finds a way to get the number one song, you know what I mean. I don't know how. I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't think his music is really ever really deserving of a number one spot. You know what I mean. Like except for like Sicko Mode, but why? Because Drake was on it. You know what I mean. Like what else? Uh, Antidote. That was a good song, but like I just don't see how Travis Scott just keeps finding his way up to the charts. You know what I mean. I really don't know. His fan base, I think his fan base is like, just, I mean, that, that's what kind of gets me. Like, when the situation happened at his concert, God forgive me, but I'm like, I didn't know there was that much Travis Scott fans, you know what I mean? I'm like, bro, all the people at oh, that he's... concert to see Travis Scott, bro. The nigga got like, I didn't, I didn't know he was that big neither until like I started looking into it more. I'm like, damn, this nigga got like 50 million Instagram followers and shit, bro. like, he, he's he's a big deal, bro. Yeah, but you know he got he got Nike, he got Jordan, he got McDonald's, he got Reese's Puffs. The niggas huge. The niggas a big deal, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. When did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I have no idea. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I just feel like these <laughs> stupid. I, I, I no looked clue. up one day and Travis Scott was a star, bro. What was his first big song? What we'll put him on? It was the joint. It came out in like 2013. It was like, uh, was it the shit with Ti? Because he used to be with Ti. Yeah, he used yeah, to be what? with Grand Hustle. For yeah, he real? used to be on the Grand Hustle. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, shit. Y'all and put then me he on. had got. I know he had got like a Kanye cosign. Yeah. Early, he got a Ti cosign early, and then I looked up and he was he was a fucking star. Yeah, he was messing with Kanye heavy. I remember that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But damn. Yeah, I don't but, know, though. I don't know when he got, like, OD big, but the nigga's yeah. a big deal now. So y'all, yeah. wait. So y'all putting him up there or not putting him up there? No, no, no. Up there, I'm nah. not. I'm not. But I've, I've heard people argue that. Oh, all right. Good, good. So, all right. So back to, like, little Baby. So what are we expecting him to sell? You know what I mean? Like, somebody said 250. Who said that? Uh, I'm saying okay. I'm I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say like two ten, two twenty. It's doable. If you could do one ninety, you can do two ten. Do you think he got the same uh, hype? You think he got the same buzz right now that he had back then? He been quiet. Like I don't be hearing nothing. Only time I see some of little babies at the shave room trying to climb. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't see Lil Baby's music, really. Even the leaks, you know, usually Lil Baby's leaks should be going viral. Like, you, like I don't be nothing. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Well, like I said, it's going to depend on what precedes the album. I say 160. I'm going to say 150. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like this the album where he going to, um, he can either, I don't think he going to fall off. But this is the album where he can go into that next. He can go into that Drake, Cole, Kendrick, Kanye. I think here. I think what you're trying to say is this is the album where you're just gonna find his place. Either you're gonna go up there, you're gonna stay where you at, or you're gonna drop. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And this is the album that's gonna do it for you. you yeah. Me? What you think it's gonna do? Are you gonna take it up there, stay right here, or drop? I think I think over time, like the more I listen to him, like he's become a he's become a hell of a rapper. Like his 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 rap skills have like exponentially gotten better. So it's like I'm I'm expecting like him to be rapping good. So it's like I expect him to elevate. I don't expect him to stay stagnant. I'm expecting gro- like growth. I mean, if he can drop some songs like leading up to the project, yeah, I th- I think he can grow. But I don't know. He he's not one of the artists where he can just drop. He can announce an album and a week later drop it and it's gonna sell more. I don't know. Yeah, I feel if like he, smell a. Little... What are you saying? Oh, I was about to say just if he just continue to drop like 
leading up to the album, he should be good. Yeah, that's what I was about to say too, for real. Because usually artists like Lil Baby, they got to drop like something like Whoa, something to prove. What songs he had singles leading up to the album? Yeah, yeah. He, had, he dropped he dropped them like two months prior to dropping my turn too. Yeah, so, right. And then yeah, uh, it, had, yeah. it had time to bubble. But what I, I was gonna say, uh, another thing with Baby is I'm gonna I'm gonna need to see like more uh like elevation in terms of like substance and content. Like I don't want to hear about the about the guys and getting money and fucking bitches. Like I'm I want to hear something different. Yeah. That's like, one I'm thing gonna I was need about some to, more substance. Yeah, that was one thing I was about to uh, touch on too, because I feel like a lot of times I hear people talk about Lil Baby, and they say he talk about the same shit over and over. You know, what I mean? but you go listen to artists like Lil Durk or YB, like they actually saying some shit. I'm not saying Lil Baby not saying no shit, but Lil Baby he gonna get you in your bag, get you make you feel sauced up, whatever the case may be. But like a lot of times he ain't gonna have you sitting there like, damn. You know what I mean? Like this Dirk album, multiple times. I was like, damn. yeah. Or if you listen to YB, you're gonna be like, damn, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like a lot of times a little baby, you know what I mean? The replay value probably not really gonna be there because it's about what mood you're in, you know what I mean? With little baby. You gotta be in that mood of throwing that little baby. If me throwing little Dirk or YB, Polo G or Raw Wave or something like that, that shit is gonna be a go. You know what I mean? Because their music got that substance to it. Their music got that that value to it, that meaning to it. You know what I mean? I feel like Lil Baby, when he dropped the bigger picture, the reason why it's still getting played, I know, like, it was political, so that's probably why it's still getting played on the radios and all around, but, like, no, nah, that song, take the political stuff out of it, that song got real meaning, and that song was really touching. You know what I mean? Like, when I first read yeah. it, I was like, damn, this shit gave me the chills. You know what yeah. I mean? Lil Baby, he really don't got songs that will touch you like that. Like, the one song, Humble, you feel me? That song's kind of like that. Uh, um, emotionally scarred. Emotionally scarred. Emotionally yes. scarred, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you got something like Close Friends, you know what I mean? Some yeah. kind of little different. Yeah. You know what I mean? He kind of, I feel like this album, he has to dip and dab into like the Close Friends bag, the Bigger Picture bag, the Humble bag. He has to like really try to dig deep within his creativity, you feel me? And just, I don't know, pull something out because we can't listen to the same little baby we've been listening to since 2018. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think most of his songs with most of the replay value is like literally the same song. Like Freestyle, We Paid, and Southside is literally the same song. Like the yeah. same content, at least. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, or the, uh, I know. Or, different, different, or, different bag. Or his bigger, his biggest songs or songs with features, your song with Dirk or song with Drake or, you mm. know what I mean, song with Meek or something like that. You know what I mean? I just wish Baby would establish something on his own and have his own. I'm not saying he hasn't, because Lil Baby is established on his own. He is his own artist for shit show. That's Lil Baby. You know what I mean? But I feel like a lot of times you say Lil Baby, a motherfucker will try to bring up somebody else's name with it. You know what I mean? That's like a lot of times I just want Lil Baby just to have his own glory. You know what I mean? But hell yeah. So who else y'all expect to drop uh, this year? Who you want to drop, put it like that, that you probably haven't heard from in a little minute? I'm going to need, um, I need a tape from Uzi. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I for sure need a tape from, um, I need a tape from Baby. I need a tape from Uzi. Um, other than that, though, I, it's one nigga. I, it's one nigga I need one project from to act. I thought the last project was going to do it for me, but I need one more. Those to see. I need Polo to drop some. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Polo G quite yet. Damn. I know we was talking about it. I don't know if we were talking about it offline or if we was talking about it on your on your on one of the last shows. Don, was, I think it was offline. It had to be offline, probably, because we be tasting about Polo a lot. <laughs> go, go, uh, go didn't do it for me, but it did it for everybody else though. Yeah. Hall, uh, Hall of Fame did it for me. <laughs> Hall, of Fame, Hall of Fame 2.0 is that fucking heat. Yeah, 2.0 is good, but GOAT, Goat is a phenomenal project. I uh-huh. think GOAT go over Hall of Fame for sure, though. I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, though, I'm going to tell y'all, when I when we drop the reaction, when we drop the GOAT reaction, right, I got drugs so bad in the beginning with time people would come back and be like, bro, I apologize. Everything that you said in that reaction, like, it's coming to fruition. Like, it, like it's true. 
like after that, he got the piano G name, and like uh, niggas was saying, niggas was saying like the shit was boring, and that he wasn't like that lyrical as people were saying he was, and he wasn't versatile. Hall of Fame was the complete opposite of GOAT, and I loved it. And honestly, I feel like everything, the way you just said it, is kind of crazy how everything works, because you said you didn't like GOAT, you feel me? And what you were saying at the time of your reaction, you was kind of speaking it into fruition, into the future, you know what I mean? People come back now, and, but I feel like at the time when you said that about GOAT, it was just bad timing, because it's like, that's Polo G's prime. If you ain't gonna talk about Polo G right now when he just dropped yeah. his masterpiece. So that's why everybody was getting on him. But yeah. then, like you said, he kept dropping the same type of music so people would come back and be like, okay, now I see what Ace is talking about. You know what I mean? And then, so he dropped the uh, Hall of Fame. I really wasn't a big fan of Hall of Fame. You know why? But you know why? Because it was different from the other Polo G shit that we was accustomed to. Mm-hmm. But then, it see, it stays all crazy. Because over time, now I love Hall of Fame. <laughs> you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because it's like, okay, now I see what Polo G was doing. You know what I mean? The Hall of Fame 2.0, I love it even more. That so it's gas. like, nah, for real, bro. So But, like, but go, look at, looking back, I don't hate GOAT like I thought I did. It's just... um. Man, it, it was a lot of factors that keyed into that shit that, that that day in particular that had got me in that mode where I was just being real critical. Like, I think I think we had listened to Future Album like right before. And I was like on a crazy high. Like we did them shits back to back. We listened to Future Album. I'm like, oh, I'm gassed up. And then like, I hear the name go. Like I see the title and I'm like, oh, this gonna be fire. Like he gonna solidify himself as the GOAT. And then when I didn't get what I expected, I was like, man, fuck this shit. This shit whack. It's boring. Da, 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 da. But I mean, I was being critical. I don't think I was hating, but I was being very critical. But hey, looking yeah. back, looking back though, that shit not as bad as I as I thought it was. I was about to say, Ace, not to get all topic, but I think it was a uh, what was it, Lil TJ? I think. Y'all post y'all was like, we not going to sit here and listen to, to Lil TJ. Something like that. It was something because people wanted Lil TJ's album reaction. Uh-huh. And y'all was like, yeah, we ain't going to sit here and listen to no Lil TJ. Like, y'all was, Damn. I don't know what it was. was y'all like, don't like Lil TJ? No, because I asked the question. I said, what I want to drop? No, nah, that's the artist I probably want to drop. Lil TJ. I mess with Lil TJ heavy. You don't mess with Lil TJ? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it was like, we ain't listening to that shit. I was like, damn. We not about to sit here for an hour listening to Lil TJ. Bro, we tried, though. Why don't you mess with Lil TJ? Man, we tried, bro. That boy too it, cold. Like, the, like, okay, like the, like the, uh, like the onesies and twosies, like the calling my phone and, you know what I'm saying? And the, um, he got, like, what's the, he dropped another single last year with somebody. That shit was hard. But it's like, the whole the project with just Polo TJ G and is a no go for for me. I'm sorry, can't do it. Damn, can't do it. Oh, we need. I need something from Savage too. Oh yeah, twenty one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, all right, what do y'all put him when we like ranking these artists on the tiers and stuff? He kills features, but he ain't he ain't a popping bro. But think like, about it, yo, his projects do very well and they don't get talked about like the one project what's it called the, the 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 uh not the last one he dropped but the one before that yeah j cole on it a lot what project is that oh the i am better than i was yeah that project and then the one project savage mode too yeah you feel yeah. me so i feel like his projects do very well and they just don't get talked about he he wanted them niggas who uh he take a while to drop a tape so it's like if you kind of you kind of almost forget not forget about him, but you get what I'm saying? You yeah. kind of almost like you kind of almost write him off. Yeah. Then he pop back out. I I I would say, I would say Savage is like in a tier with like Gunner and like yeah. G Herbo. Man, they like right G- in the middle. You put G Herbo and Gunner on the same level. Same tier. Herb Herb got quality in his music though. He no gave, no 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 no. Good. Herb is one of my favorite artists. But I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, Herb, Herb, Herb no, one of my no. favorite artists too. Yeah. Herb yeah. Herb. I ain't gonna cap, bro. Herb was right. He said I'm probably one of the best rappers. He probably he not lying. 
Facts. Yeah, he get, bro, that boy can spit. He can rap his ass off. He's he can definitely, rap his ass. He can rap circles around your favorite rapper. Man, yeah. for real, he's in my top five for sure. Like ever since Lil Herb, welcome to Phaser Land. So I don't want nobody to get that shit misconstrued <laughs> or nothing. I'm just but saying. I think, I think like tier tier wise, I think they I think they right in the middle. Exactly. Because I feel like tier wise, a lot of times it's all about public perception. You mm-hmm. know, like the, the public don't really always love G Herbo. Either he's off beat or he can't rap or I don't know. A lot of times nowadays, people are starting to come to their senses, though. You feel me? And like, okay, G Herbo's raw. Like, yeah, nigga, he's been raw. You yeah. feel me? He's been rapping his ass off, been telling his story since he was 16, 17. You know what I mean? But like, to put him on the same tier as Gunner, I love to hear that. That's why it just kind of threw me off to hear you say that because people usually try to. Oh, yeah. Throw Herb like with the, I don't know. I don't even hear Herb think, get mentioned. I think like Gunna, Herb, Polo, Savage. I think they right there. Like they could. You don't they put could do, Savage on the level with Baby. I kind of put Savage on the level with Baby. I think Baby up there with like Thug and like Baby is right there with Thug and like Pluto. Yeah, Travis. They like right there. Then you got baby. like the S T. Baby up there already. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm. I, well, hey, where's Dirk? Um, Dirk right where Baby is. I say yeah, they, he got to be there like, now. Well, where's YB? Be now. Honestly, if we looking at numbers, YB up there with Drake. Yeah, as I said, YB's a star. He's yeah. first tier. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I got to be. Yeah, he's first tier. He might be above Drake. I'm not going to lie. Like, YB has this world in the truck. Like I say, he's just so organic. He don't have a machine behind him. He doesn't have any anybody behind him but himself. You know what I mean? So it's like uh, the fact that he does what he does, like he's one hell of an artist that we're never going to see again. So I appreciate him. I appreciate his work. You feel me? So I'm just going to give him his flowers, nigga. Real shit. Yeah, yeah. Like I think when I think of YB, I think I said in one of my reactions, I think him like uh like uh Bruno Mars or who who's the weekend like who Adele you know what I mean I put him up there with those type of artists you know what I mean because yeah. that boy like he is talented he could sing he could rap he could do it all you know what I mean and like just the views the touch the reach that he has is amazing you know what I mean I don't yeah. know if the reach that he I don't know if the reach that he has is really just from the young kids or whatever if it is then so be it, but I doubt it is. There's no way billions and billions of people are just little kids. Like I guarantee there's grown folks if yeah. you're feeling why be speak. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. Man. Exactly. So yeah, I'll definitely put YB up there. You know what I mean? For sure, man. That's interesting. Uh, why you say that? I mean, I would too. But I just I don't know. I guess. I guess. Yeah, I guess. I know I kind of <laughs> just said tears are public perception. So kind of if you say public perception, YB probably wouldn't be up there. You know what I mean? But I feel like for YB, I got to throw that public perception thing out the way because you know what I mean? Yeah. Numbers, yeah. And that, his, in his numbers case, don't lie. Don't lie. Yeah. Yeah. And the work speaks for itself. If it's yeah. not like he's dropping bullshit. Facts. You know? like, I don't know. Yeah. Damn, YB's one of them guys, man, for sure. I feel like two artists that I feel like need more respect on their name right now, T Grizzly and G Herbo. T Grizzly definitely do. I'm straight up on T. (laughs) Ah, y'all about to scrap. (laughs) That's my guy. What you what you mean? Good, I'm good on T, bro. Wow. You you heard. You heard that build the la- that oh. built the last shit. Wow. I couldn't make it through that album, bro. Oh, damn. Damn, T, bro. He's fucked up, bro. Hey, first day out, got it though. <laughs> you don't like none of the robberies? The robbery <laughs> video? <laughs> I'm uh... I'm out, bro. He gonna say first day out, got it. <laughs> <laughs> That shit got it though. <laughs> That's like, oh no, man. T Grizzly be speaking. You know what my what's your favorite song by T Grizzly? Uh, Maniachi. Shit, I got a lot. Honestly, it's probably one of his most slept on songs. I apologize. It was off the smartest album. Mm, that okay. one is so hard. No bro. cap though. The collab tape with Dirk Fire is a bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That that got it too. But that's look, it. 
Look who yeah. coming to their senses. <laughs> <laughs> See, hey, that's where that's where it stops. <laughs> he said that's where it stops. He's straight on the rest of that shit, bro. Uh, that one song, Saddish, uh, after his uh, aunt was it aunt passed yeah, away? Aunt, What's yeah. it called? Saddish, or how you pronounce it, bro? Yeah. Man, that song right there, that's my favorite T Grizzly song. And yeah, robberies. Deep. Like the what's the one uh tape? My moment is that the tape? My moment, right? Yeah, my it's moment. Tape. He, yeah, my moment was the first one, I think. You yeah. got like real niggas, 10k. Uh first day out was on it. You know what I mean? Yo. Stop, hey, stop. You make me mad now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ever, come on. You even try listening to T? He's he one of the best real. storytellers right bro, now. He be speaking, bro, bro for real. Bro, I... Oh, man. Ooh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I got another artist for y'all, Tear Wise. Money Bag Yo. Mm. Mm. I say with 21 right now. Yeah, they right, they right up. They straddling the fence. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, all right. His number's incredible, potential. They got potential to, like, level up. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Why? Y'all think... Money bag yo sales is real, bro. You feel me? Because I feel like that one time when boy was like number one for so long, and like he kept having another one album. I was like, bro, this is kind of fishy, dog. Money bag yo, and it was kind of like out of nowhere. I think a lot of his songs, like what was the 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 say some song? That's mm-hmm. like an anthem. He makes a lot of good anthem songs. So yeah. I think time today. Yeah. Yeah. He learned, hey, he learned from the best nigga who make anthem songs, though. Gotti make the Hell craziest yeah. anthem songs. Hell but yeah. I was gonna say. I think Moneybag is so successful because I t- I was me and my brother was talking about this shit the other day. Like, bro is like a uh, and I don't even th- I don't I don't even want to categorize him as this because it make it seem like it's funny, but it's like bro is like a meme rapper, like a like a like a social media caption rapper. Yeah. Mm. Like, and that's why it hit so hard because so many people can pull from it. It got yeah. so much, uh, it got like so much shit that's popping on social media that you can't help but just run to it. Yeah. I got another artist. It's for Ace. Don't be biased. Kodak, where you at? Oh, Kodak, Kodak is, Kodak to me is on that, is above Savage and them. Where's Savage at again? B- B- below they Baby? Like, yeah, Kodak right there with them. Kodak with what? Baby and like Future and Travis and them. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, for yeah. Yeah. Kodak, Kodak right. Kodak is dope. You, you agree with him? Yeah. I'm just the yeah, only one not. Yeah, I'm not, I'm the only one not agreeing with that one, I guess. I don't I know. Think, I think Kodak, Kodak got potential to be one of the biggest artists in the world. He just in his own way. Yeah. Mm. Man, you ain't lying about that yeah. one, bro. Yeah. He just in his own way. You feel me? So who been in some of the top artists this year? Lil Dirk, YB. Yeah, Dirk, YB, Kodak. Kodak. If okay. 21 dropped, he could definitely be Lil Baby for sure. Yeah. I'm talking about like who already dropped. Lil Baby ain't dropped. Uh, none. Gunna. Gunna. I think Gunna did yeah, the Gunna. most numbers yeah, so far. Gunna. Yeah, Gunna got the highest album. Yeah. Gunna was Even. number one for a while. To outsell his CEO like that, that's big. Because Thug only sold 90K. Gonna sell what like 152, 100. Yeah, he saw like 154 first first uh first week. Yeah, hey, but that thug project was cold though, bro. Hell yeah. Yes, punk punk was like that. Nigga slept yeah. on it though. I ain't gonna lie. That, that track with sweet. J. Cole, that shit was hard. That one song was called, I Love You More or something like that. You yeah. know that song? Yeah. That was hey, hard. What's man. the uh what's the like the intro track? It got like strict on it or some shit. Or some one T shine or one of them niggas. That shit yeah, hard. I know what you're talking about. I forget. I, it, it's like one of the early mm-hmm. tracks on that shit. I was like, damn, this shit go crazy. And the uh dropping jewels, that shit was hard too. Yeah. And shirt oh, my yeah. wrist, that was too hard too. Oh, uh, what's the one shit? Peeping out the window with future. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was too hard. Too cold, bro. Damn. When that dropped? That dropped this year? That was, that was last, last year. year. It was like September, uh, October. Yep. Okay. That was gonna say I'll fuck around, put that up there with the top albums, bro. No lot, but no, nah, that was last year. But damn, no. But all right, though, we about to end this up. You know what I mean? I appreciate y'all for chopping it up. If I feel like we had a good conversation, yes, you know what I mean. Uh, 
But yeah, so I need y'all to hit the link down below. You feel me? Both of their links gonna be down below. Go sub the uh, money ash. Go sub the ace. You feel me? From the i nine five channel. Go turn them up. You know what I mean? Showing some love. You feel me? Y'all just keep grinding, keep doing y'all thing, and I appreciate y'all for checking in with me. Yes, oh. sir. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. Yes, sir.